Hey guys, this is Shanita. Welcome back. This is another video that is completely random. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. This is really unplanned. I am down in my recording room taking down my hair and I remembered somebody asking me about showing how I um, separate my hair during my twists and braid outs. And so I've got a lot going on here. So be patient with me. I'll figure out something to title this video. And if you're new, I so appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hopefully you'll find something helpful or entertaining or useful somehow that might help you or somebody you know. So I am coming off of a wash day where I use two different, it's cold in here, my eyes are watering. Um, I use two different uh, butters on the side of my hair. You might remember that video where I use that Indian herb Ayurvedic hair butter by the young man in high school who created that butter and then the Reclaim Your Crown on, this, on the other side. So that hair lasted, both sides lasted you guys for like three days. And so I chose not to co-wash my hair during the week and one night I felt it and I thought, okay, it is getting dry. I literally just went into my bathroom and pulled something out and start braiding my hair. I put in Annabelle's Honey Maru Maru Butter. I thought I brought it down here with me and I did not. So I will find uh, a picture of it and put it here if I don't actually bring it back in here to show it so that you'll see it. I don't have any of the ingredients with me. I know it has Maru Maru Butter and Honey and it was fantastic going on. After I finished that, y'all, this is a day I was completely bored. After I finished putting all those braids in my hair, I wore it for a day. And then the next night, which was last night, I thought, you know what? I am going to put some rollers on the end of my hair because the braids were just hanging straight just to see what it looked like. Now, of course, um, this did not curl a lot. It was just enough to kind of put a little bend in the braids themselves. This is my little thing from uh, Face Story that I get and I use this when I'm putting on makeup or doing uh, any skincare facial stuff with my skin. If you have not seen my little video on Face Story, I am a brand ambassador for them. They are a skincare company. The things I love most from them are their face masks. They do these disposable paper Mass. You can get one for almost every skin condition you can name. Sensitive, dry, oily, uh, acne prone, um, just some for strengthening, some for increasing collagen, like anything to do with the skin, there is a mask there for it. They're so easy. And it's a first time, I mean, it's a great, great thing for a first timer who's just starting to take care of your skin because you literally take it off the paper, put it on your face. It gives the little eye cutouts and the nose and mouth cutouts. You plaster it on your face. The product is already in the mask on the paper. Let it sit on your face for 10 minutes or so. Take it off and literally take whatever residue that's left on it and just rub it into your skin. So all the product that's good for you is left um, on your skin from the paper and then you just rub the rest of it off throw the mask away voila I do one almost every night most nights um on nights that I do exfoliating on nights that I do some sort of special treatment typically I don't but every other night I do one of those masks there's something for any situation and they're so so gentle I can use them every day so I'll put the video where I talk about this on in the description box, so be sure to check them out. Amazing, amazing prices on those and great ingredients. Very, very surprised. And that's why I took this on. Like the um, ingredients are natural and they're good for the skin and it's not that they mention something is in a mask and it'd be way down on the ingredients list. It's high on the ingredients list, so be sure to check out the uh, video and I'll put the website also for you to take advantage of. The code will be in the description box as well. So that's that. See? Completely random video. But nevertheless, I'm going to take these little rods out of my hair and start unraveling. Instead of putting this like I normally do with my uh, hair split down the middle and hair on both sides, I section off a bang area. 
well, <laughs> not section. I didn't part. I literally just grabbed some. So this is about this much of the hair. I decided to braid to the front because I am going to try doing some bangs. So I am going to definitely not keep you on here while I do most of this because taking down braids is almost just as important as how you put them up if you want to reduce frizz. So I am going to get this out of my fist. I'm going to actually pin it back very gently because I don't want to just take out what little bend I have in them. And I have here my Twisted Aloe Oil. This is their Rose Oil. I love this. Her products are made from 85% um, pure aloe vera. She grows them herself and she makes all the products herself. She is a one woman show and this uh, oil has aloe vera oil, rose oil, it has rose petals in it, avocado, neem, grapeseed, hibiscus, and then she puts in a little uh, rosemary essential oil. So, so good. Gives your hair so much shine. And I also use it on my skin um, when I need a little extra on top of whatever I'm going to use. Sometimes when I use a mask that is... Um, clarifying or purifying I always go back and add a little oil on it because I don't want my skin to think it is running out of oil and then go to overproduce we don't want that so I'll go back and add some oil and that oil which is so so amazing and aloe vera we all know how great that is for your skin those other ingredients are good too and so I take something that pure and just add back to my skin so that it doesn't create any excess oil, which of course, you know, creates all kind of pimples, acne, and blemishes. I am coming here to the front to try to show you what these look like. That butter, I was just trying it because I realized I had never opened that butter before. And actually it's a cream, it's not called a butter, but it does have a couple of butters in it and it's very good. I decided to just start twisting, braiding with this and realized how shiny and how great my hair looked. And I just thought, I'll just go ahead and do the whole thing. So to refresh the entire hair without having to completely co-wash, I spritzed a little bit of water on it. And when I say a little bit, like I'm holding the bottle way out here and just, and just braid it a few times all over my hair, just enough to kind of dampen the outer layer. And then I just grabbed hair and started braiding with that cream. So now that I'm taking these down, you can see my hands have plenty of oil on them. Someone asked me to show this part so I ended up twisting these at the end. So I will braid all the way down and about an inch, inch and a half at the end. I just, I take this, put it around my finger and just curl it just like I do with the twist out. So that's how I seal my braids. So now I am pulling these apart and here are those two sections that I ended up twirling at the end. And I try to find that place where that third section is. So there it is and as much gently as I can attempt to go in and find just two of those this is what I do you guys I take two of those sections one is usually loose and I just pull and that is how you will know if you braided your hair where you didn't borrow a whole lot of sections from the other hair it should pull apart like that if you go to pool and you've got hair tangled and jamming up in there, then probably you didn't braid your hair in a way where you didn't borrow sections. You know what I mean? You want to keep those three pieces completely separated while you're braiding it. So here are the three. And there is the curls. And that is it. Y'all, that takes a while. <laughs> so I am going, and the hardest part, of course, is at the ends where it gets thinner and thinner. And then you've got to try to reduce the frizz by finding, again, the two places, the two pieces that were twisted, and then gently 
feel for the place where that third section is starting to feed into the second one and unravel, unravel it gently all the way up to you can clearly identify the three pieces and make sure you've got three distinct sections and well that didn't work out too well pool and if I get to a place like that hey that's a good learning lesson I go back again and I try to go back to the root I mean the root of the problem where there may be a tangle and find again three different places and unravel so that's that that's how I'm going to unravel this entire thing I will come back and I will show you what I do to take these down and we'll see how this comes out. I don't know what's gonna happen, you guys. We'll see. Okay, Ooh. this is it. It is all taken down. I don't know what I was thinking about this bang stuff. We're gonna work on that. We'll see what we can figure out. They're so freaking shiny. Oh, it looks just like I just did a fresh shampoo and like reset. And all this was, it's just refreshing. Gosh, it looks so nice. So I am going to figure out what to do next so I don't keep you on here guessing. And then I'll come back and I'll share with you what I figure out and we'll go from there. So I want you to know while I'm thinking about it too, it's all about really technique, of course, and a good product like my hair looks like it would if I had just freshly washed it this is like four day four day old hair five now that was just reset so a good mist it can be a refresher spray it can be water just something to just mist the outside not a whole lot of water if you put a whole lot of water I mean you basically may as well co-wash you're going to get a lot of shrinkage and then you may also it may take forever to dry so just a few shots of spray of any liquid moisturizing liquid and then grab the hair damp and start braiding or twisting or bantu knotting whatever it is you're going to do so i'll be back guys but you know if you're interested in that cream it is extremely moisturizing. I'm very impressed with this. Okay, so I just want to show you at least some of these where I am. You guys have seen this so many times. Where you take a chunk of that hair. This is like one section from one of the braids. And just like literally just separated. If it's frizzy, then you can kind of force some of that curl back in it by twirling it around your fingers. Here is the front completely undone and it still has the big sections there. So I'm going to run my finger down because that helps me find, helps it separate, helps me find where the place where it separates. It almost kind of puts this little mini section in it and then pull it apart. If it is starting to frizz, which it will if it is not properly moisturized, or it could be your hair texture, don't always think that it needs moisture. My hair here in the front does not hold curl very well. If you see a section that looks like it's gonna have some frizz, then you can curl it with your fingers. But this is how you know when you have sufficiently hydrated and moisturized hair. You can take the twist or braid, take these sections down, and not lose a lot of the definition. If you're losing a lot, I would not assume that your hair is not moisturized. I always, always err on the side of it's not hydrated. You don't always need to put more product on top. It's the hydration part, the water, that goes on the inside of the hair strand that is the issue. So things you can do to force that to happen is add a moisturizer, a lightweight moisturizer or a milk 
or a leave-in conditioner if you like. If you have a styler that is not really, really heavy, you can put it on your hair strand. And if you have time to let it air dry, you can do that. If you don't have a whole lot of time, so you want it to be ready in the morning, I always suggest taking the cream, putting it on your hair, styling it however you want. If you're gonna do twists, do the twist. And then sit under the dryer. Heat forces that product to penetrate. Get this out of my face. And so then that will also make sure that it is nice and dry by morning. Okay, so with this, as you can see, I have taken down most of it. I almost always leave some. If I were to take this down in some sort of orderly, systematic way, I wouldn't miss it, but I don't. Take it down, take the big chunks down. You don't have to even get every single one. I just wanna show you what I would do to style. You want the ones around the front of your hair to be more defined. If there are some frizz in the back, I usually, I don't really care. Okay, so, now, for the most part, my hair has, and I'm handling it very gently. That is the other thing. Continuing to play in it with your fingers will, will interrupt that curl pattern and cause it to frizz on you. I'm feeling for bigger chunks under here that maybe I didn't separate. Okay, so at this point, I would take my pick and I have two picks that I primarily use one is the standard one with the teeth um, the long teeth that are closed up together and then I have another one that I use that literally just has four teeth they are hugely spaced apart and I try to go with this one first because this will lift my hair without disturbing the curls so much um, I take it and I just pull at the roots can you see where it's just lifting the hair as a whole, giving it a little more volume, but it is not disturbing the curl. Put it down into the scalp and just pull it out about an inch or so. And I go in the perimeter of my hair all over. Here's another big chunk I'm gonna separate. Y'all, this video is so random. So this is that section bang part. Oh, turn it in where your the head of your curve, the head, the curve of your head is in here. So you don't want to turn it in backwards like this. You don't want that. You want to turn it in so that this will fit the curve of your head. I hope that made sense. And just pull out, depending on the length of your hair, how much you have to pull out and also how much volume you want. The less you disturb it, the more curl you'll get. Now the next time I do anything besides mine today will be starting over with a pre-poo or co-wash or whatever I decide to do. So I'm not necessarily trying to keep any curl in. And ideally this will do. Um, usually if I have twists, I sometimes have to go in with this, which ultimately, like it does the same thing, but to me it just, it touches more of the hair because all of these teeth touch the hair and the more of the hair you touch, the more disturbance you're going to get and it is likely that you will lose some of the curl unless you're extra extra gentle and you take your time um i got this pick because i know i'm gonna get that question um y'all i don't know where did i get this thing was it amazon if i find an amazon link to this i will put it in the description box and i will label it to let you know that this is the one i'm talking about i'll call it the four teeth scalp comb or something like that. I'll put it high up so that you'll know. Um, 
And if I did not get it at Amazon, I'll find out. I'll, I'll figure out where I got it from and I'll link it and let you know. So for this hair, oh, I don't know what I was thinking here. I'm thinking about cutting me some bangs. I consider my forehead to be of the extra large persuasion. And so bangs look so much better on a big forehead. Cause it kind of covers a lot of that. And again, my hair does not curl, does not hold curl well there. So I'm not going to mess with that a lot. If your hair holds curl well, then you don't have to do this. But I am, I mean, then you don't have to um, be as gentle. So I'm gonna take this section of hair and force me some bangs by making a faux bang. So I'm gonna take this hair and lay it back kind of estimate where I want my hair to lay maybe about there and I keep my finger there and I just take a bobby pin and pin it back however many to get all the way across so you can kind of make it even so you're not looking crazy and then pull the hair back down and then kind of shape it how you want. I should have done more hair. I should have made, included more hair in this bang section. It looks nice when it is full, but this, <laughs> these bangs look skippy and they look hungry. Um, so ideally all of this would be covered. So I would make fuller bangs. Still feeling big chunks of hair here, but you could do this right after a, I mean, during the styling of a wash day. I think that will actually, in fact, I know that will help you to hold curl a little bit longer. But, yeah, this one is not going to work. I mean, it's the first time I've done this, you guys, so I, I'm learning as I go. And maybe the more I do it, the more I'll gain some experience. But... I would definitely have, if I had known this is going to be like this, or if I decide to do it a second time, I'll use more hair to come to the front so that this is not so skimpy. Mine may always be skimpy because I just don't separate it enough because I know if I separate it, I'm going to lose what little bit of curl that I have. Another option would have been to use a smaller rod and to curl it tighter. I mean, of course, I'm not going to get a whole lot of curl because I just stuck it in there last night and literally just had it hanging off the end. You saw what it was like. So I am not going to mess with this much more than this. See, look at that. Just no curl at all. So I'm going to leave it here. I probably could shape this a little better, but I hope that gave you some idea of how I separate it. And maybe give you an idea if you want to try some bangs if your hair will hold curl better in the front that's something you could try to just kind of change up your look a little bit and um that's it my hair feels great you guys know that annabelle's uh, store is now currently open the site is open for those of you who don't know who hear me talk about it all the time but you go there and it says sold out it's only because she opens the website at periodic times and then she closes it down. It is open now. It will be open to February 15th. If you don't have uh, this cream yet, oh my gosh, it is so nice. So nice. My hair has so much shine. It's still, I'm really impressed with the curl it maintained. But more than anything else, my hair feels great and ultimately health over length is what we like to focus on you want your hair to be healthy there's no sense in being cute if it's dry if it's you know breaking because it's not moisturized properly you really want to focus on keeping your hair hydrated and moisturized during this winter cold weather this is it like I said I had no idea what this video was I just thought I would show you a styling video and um, when I do a twist out again, which you know will probably be the next wash day, I'll show you that as well. I just thought since I was taking this down, it might be something you wanted to see and it would give me an opportunity to 
show you what that um, cream looks like. So that's it. That is all this video is about. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any comments, hopefully something here helped you. If it did, let me know. I would be glad to know that. If you want more styling videos, then let me know. I have any styling videos like I do anything but those twist outs it's funny um I have a list of the next companies that I am going to do videos on I've got them numbered all the way down to 12 so it's going to take me a minute to get through them but I am going to uh, so that's the video I hope that you enjoyed it still be sure that you are subscribed to the channel and if you like this then give it a like sometimes I'll come on here and we can just hang out and I'll just do a miscellaneous video and we can just talk about whatever, whatever crosses my mind. And sometimes videos like this, there's some little hidden gems inside the video. So don't skip over it if you see a miscellaneous video there because you might miss something that would really be of help to you. I don't necessarily put all of what I'm talking about in the title and sometimes the devil is in the details. You just have to click on it and watch it and see if you'll get anything out of it. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for being here. I appreciate your time. Talk to you soon. Bye.